Hello everyone. Today I've got something a little bit of a building planned and uh, it's going to be useful and kind of a pain in the butt saver. You see my armor and all my stuff, it's all out of juice. Well today I want to build a charge o mat It's pretty expensive, but don't worry I've kind of got it mostly laid out and organized. And when we're done, I'm just going to stick it right here in the middle of the floor, on top of that thing. I'm pretty sure it can take the input from it, and if it can't, I will cry. So, if you can see here, I've got most everything pretty well laid out already. Uh, the only things we've got to do is just take care of a few simple matters of moving all these things into our inventory in the proper order, and hope that it works, because I kind of went a non-traditional, non-standard route on making these with these gates and stuff. Just for the lulls, for the fun of it. Actually, I probably I need to do this in the other table that I was prepared for. No! How did I even get these in my inventory? Anyway, back to it. <laughs> I spent a lot of time making these things. I could have made them the f sh easier way, but when I say these things, I mean the Lapatron crystals. I could have made them the easy way with diamonds, but <clears throat> I just I just wanted to do something different, so I made them using the, um, what are they called? Autarchic gates. I used Autarchic gates instead. Mm, I thought it was a good idea at the time, because if you see, um, well, we'll go here and you go over to the next page, you can see one of the options is an autarchic gate. But anyway, um, where, where are these things going? So I was going to make the Greg Tech computer first so it goes diagonally like that for, for it. So two here, and the rest go in the corners on this. And then we have two extra. Next, I hope this is enough. I kind of did the rough math in my head. <laughs> But you know me and doing math in my head, I think anyway. So, wait, did I get that right? Uh, these things. Yeah, okay, I got it wrong. <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> these things are complicated because I have to, I have to make the uh, cells for them first. Twenty ten five. Ugh. Oop. Oh, it's all messed up. There. Data storage circuits. Give me 16 of them. Okay, now I can make this thing. I think. Yes? Yes, please? These? Oh, wait, I need to make this. So that uses the iridium plate. Wait, why can't we make that like that? It uses an iridium plate, and it says I can use data storage. Can I not use them in the corners? Is that it? Oh, I can use the pulsating crystals, though. So it's okay. It's okay. I have a couple extra. It's not the end of the world. We can fix it. One, two, three... Oh yeah, and we got more than we'll ever need. <laughs> so we go here, and we're gonna make this. So this is the one that requires, that can be surrounded by these data storage crystal thingies. So I think I can get away with, I might not have enough. <laughs> How many is this? Okay, that, so that makes four, Never mind. I've got plenty. So these are our, like, leftovers here. I'll just put two here. It's, it's a shame it's such a wasteful recipe. That's why I was kind of... didn't want to put things to make it, because it's just it's such a wasteful recipe, but I suppose I'll use these things for other things later. And now, like, maybe if I want to make another one of these. These Greg Tech computer things. Which I might. You never know. So let's go ahead and put these where they belong. Eh. Alright. 
in the crafting table. One, two, three, four. There and there. There and there. And we have our Greg Tech Computer Cube, which I might make one of my own later, just for the fun of it. It with the spare bits I've got left over. Now we're going to need to actually make the um the charge o mat thingy. So we're just gonna surround this with Lapatron crystals. So much clicking. <laughs> Electronic in energy orb. Can't read. <laughs> okay, then we just gotta put that in the center, our Greg Tech up here, and all that stuff. It's pretty simple. I've already got it all set out for the most part. You just get in the crafting table, put the question mark up so that I can remember. Because all these bits start to look the same after a little while. Especially if you've been looking at it for a long time. And there is our charge o mat. Now we're going to cry when it blows up because it can't take high voltage. Place. Eh. It didn't blow up. Hey, look at that. Showing my suit already. So I'm assuming like this is the in and this is an out. So if I go, ooh, ooh, this is nice. And I put all that there. Is it taking charge? Charge, please. Yes, no. Maybe. There's the power. Does it not want power from there? Can it not take power from there? Oop. Give me my jetpack. There. Maybe it has to take power from somewhere else. One of the sides. Which makes me sad if it does. Does that work? Aw. I, I wanted it to be able to take power from... Uh, from a... Uh, from the bottom. Oh well. We can live with it. I suppose. So I'll just put my jetpack back in there. Anything else needs to go in there? Oh, yes, this does. It's too bad I can't repair my other stuff, too. That's nice. I'm, I'm very pleased I made this. Oh, yes, my lap pack. So now I can just go... No, I'll just, I can't click it like that. I can just put it back on my body. That is nice. I am, I am pleased with this. So next, I'm going to, um, after that's done charging, I'll clean that up a bit. As you can see, I've got these in my inventory. And I wanted to make this setup that we've been talking about for so long and never got actually done and... It's, it's just been awful. We, we never got it done. So it needs to get done. Oh, I, uh... I, sh I probably showed you all this, but... My loop is working. And I'm running quite a bit of power through here. Do I have my EU? No, I don't have my EU reader on there. On there. But during the day, I'm getting about a thousand EU per tick. So, I'm pretty sure you didn't see... I think I did this all off camera. I expanded this room... I added a big tank here for storing biofuel, and then this is going to be for storing um, uh, seed oil, just because I won't use a lot of seed oil and I'll end up making a lot, so I'll need to store a bunch of it. So I've just been using these two, and I've fixed some of the piping. I've actually turned this one off. Oop. I've turned my uh, farm off completely because my chests for it were full and it was just starting to overflow and I was like, eh, we'll just we'll just turn it off for now. But I'm still running this. And I made me a couple of modifications so that it has a chance of going in here and then if it doesn't it gets shunted down through here and into the chance to go into these two. And if it doesn't it goes into an overflow spot, which is fine. I don't mind having an overflow for it like that. Because I, I like having saplings on hand just in case something happens. 
And in this setup, the uh, sand goes that way. It doesn't get backed up into here. I really don't even need this iron uh, pipe here now, but I'm too lazy to change it. Um, hmm. See anything else happened? Interesting. Oh, yes. And uh, downstairs. I... There's nothing really special here. It's just a pretty quick setup. I put these engines in. They're all powered up and ready to go. All I got to do is flick on the switch. But I need the thermionic fabricator available for it. I need the... Do I need the magma? Yeah, I'll need the magma crucible. Actually, I'll probably need every single one of these pieces here. Because I want to make a box for them. Um, a power box. So, I'm just going to put down all these things. Eh. Um, wait. This is the liquid transposer. Okay, that, I, in order to avoid having to pipe things around, I need to actually put this around in a, a proper order. So the magma crucible, liquid transposer, induction smelter. So it's just these two that need to be in a proper order. Where's that skeleton at? And the liquid transposer, yes. So that I can put redstone in here, and then it can pipe it into here. So, here comes the old train. That's that good, and that's good. Okay. So, now I will also need the induction smelter. I can put it here, because I'll need to make the glass that I need to make the tubing. So, if I... Let's look it up real quick. Redstone. I know, I've probably done this off camera before. In fact, I know I have. But I need to fill that up, and in order to make that, I need electrum lead ingots, conductive coil, and this. So I'm going to get all those bits ready off camera and then we'll assemble it. Okay, I think everything is prepared. All we have to do is click this, and walk over here, put it in here, and there's our energy storage unit. <laughs> and then all I've got to do is fill it with redstone. And I've already... It takes 2,000 units of redstone. Where's my food? It takes 2,000 units of redstone. To fill it, each redstone uh, dust gives you whoop, 50 units. So you do the math, 2,000 divided by 50. So how many redstone it took? I put all but one. See, so we have 1,950. And I will put the last one in the magma crucible which will turn it into a liquid redstone which then gets pumped into here and now all I have to do is put this in here and it fills it up for us there we go already now since this was just a temporary setup we shall remove it that's why I was kind of being careful about exactly how much I put into it because I just didn't want to waste it and we'll go ahead and put, put this here. I still haven't quite decided exactly where I'm going to be happiest with our actual... Um, need to wrench that. With the actual inner workings thing. Like where we're going to actually put all the workings of it. But I think in this general vicinity doesn't seem like a horrible place. You know, perhaps I should put it over here. So that I could kind of put it more on that side. Yeah, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? I'm going to lose all the power that's in there, but it's not much, so it's okay. These things do not break. There. But I like them because they don't have other issues like looping in on themselves and causing issues like that. So I think... Let's see. Let's dig ourselves out here. I think I want to put my main production line, like say here. We can put these things down, and then these can also go in their respective places. The only thing that really matters is the magma crucible again and the liquid transposer. So as long as I put them adjacent to each other, like a magma crucible didn't, yeah, that's what I thought, and there, 
and then that doesn't really matter where that goes too much um, let's turn these off for the moment because I have no plans on really automating these really one more there we go yeah I don't have much plan of ever really automating these so Oop. there we go and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm not terribly concerned. Oh, oh crap. Well, that means I can't put these here then, which hurts my feelings greatly. <laughs> well, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. What am I thinking? I'll just put it above there. It won't hurt nothing. Okay. And that one. Good. Um, can I? Aw, oh, darn. See, this is going to be the problem right here. Problems, problems. Well, nope, I can fix it. Oopsie. I don't have any clean stone on me. I'll have to fix that later. My, uh, tools don't know how good they are. So let's put this thing back down. Put a wrench to it again. Where'd that wrench go? There we go. And then we can pull power out. Run it up and over. Hmm. There. And everything should be peachy. Everything could here. Let's put the max output, max input. Come on. And it's not filling yet. Which concerns me. Oh, it's called these are filling their resources bars first, right? Yeah. Oop. Come on, click on it. Yeah. Okay, so I can turn on... I, think, I don't think I'm going to need to use all these engines just yet. I should have probably put them in a place where they were a little bit more accessible, but oh well, what can you do? Didn't break any of this piping, did I? No, okay. So we're going to have to place down one, two, three, four, five, six more items. So we've got one hole already. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh well. Oh, I do want that though. Come here. Thank you. That would have been sad. Um, so yeah, I guess we can just start plopping them down for the most part. Might want to think about a specific order that we want them to be put in. Like, I don't know. Might even should be putting a spacing between them. Just for ease of access. But I guess we'll put the... Yeah, the centrifuge can go there, and then the squeezers, and then the carpenters. So, Bealizer, centrifuge. Um, I missed I missed a spot, didn't I? Oh well. I can. Hmm. Yeah, the thermionic fabricator doesn't really take input from anything special, so it doesn't need input from anything special. Oops. Kind of a waste right there. Break. Break, dang you. <laughs> it's the invincible cable. But that's kind of why I like this stuff, too. It doesn't break. That shouldn't be an issue. Pow. Oh well. It's it's backwards, but who cares? Um squeezers first. And I should really put my carpenters back here, shouldn't I? Yeah. So this whole design's gonna have to be rethought. Not the whole design, but part of it. Oop. 
It's okay. It's just a fermenter. Oh, the uh, on switch for that one was there. So. There. Rethinking, redesigning. Give me that switch back. Uh, I can put that over there. And yeah, I hope I hope you all are, don't are, don't mind this sort of thing here going on. So the carpenters will need fluid. Or they, they have these carpenters. So I could just put them right here and they can go ahead and have their fluids. And then let's see, anything else need fluid? I guess we could put the thermionic fabricator as kind of a split between the two because it's different. And um oop. Weird things happening. Centrifuge, analyzer, and a squeezer. Well, squeezers. Um, let's see. Squeezers. Yeah, let's put the squeezers here. And the analyzer and the centrifuge. There. That way the squeezers can easily pipe straight back. And then let me go and get some smooth stone and clean this all up really quick. Now, oh, yeah, we'll need to put these down as well. So this is the magma crucible induction smelter liquid transposer. Sure. Put it there next to that just in case. I don't know. All right. I'll be back in a second after I clean this place up. Okay, guys, I think that's pretty much everything. I went through and cleaned this up. I added these pipes in to pipe it all into here. And I kind of made a bit of a mess down here of piping and stuff, wiring it all together. But everything should be pretty much cleaned up. I've only got three engines running right now just because I'm not really using it except for these to generate some seed oil. But, I mean, other than that, there's not much point. I added a uh, second setup here another arboretum and I just kind of hooked it all into this one with uh, this one goes into the pipe right here and this all the other output except the trees goes down this one into that ender chest right there so I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up this episode it's it's been quite a while in the making so I'll see you guys next time